Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. The other day I was mowing the yard and then this lawnmower it cut off and then smoke was coming out here and then on this side and then on the other side smoke's coming up everywhere even in the bottom. So why don't you stay tuned? Let's find out what caused the problem. Like I was saying, at the time the smoke was coming out everywhere, so and then I cut off this key over here. But the engine is still like start running or wanted to start again, but the key is already off. So the only way I got that on stop is I have to uh, remove the negative cable over here and then it stopped. So my first guess I think it is the solenoid it got stuck so if we keep starting the engine even the uh, key was off or the uh, starter it got stuck somehow that means if it got stuck after I start the engine and it's running and then the starter it's keep going and on so let's go ahead and find out as you can see right now if I connect the negative cable back and then the key is off and we'll make that noise I hope you can see that key is still off and then the engine starts wanting to turn see and then again that means the uh, solenoid is stuck let's check that one out Alright guys, I think I see the first problem right now. Let me try to focus on it. Okay, I hope you can see right now. See this cable over here, it's from the battery to the solenoid. So this cable over here and this over here is supposed to be open. So when you uh, switch it on, it will close. So and then you got direct power for, through here and to the other red cable over there. But as you can see right now, when this cable got hot, so it melt into this one over here. As you can see right now, it stick together right there. Right here, it stick together. That means now they got direct connection. So what is the cause of that one? I mean, the cable, the wire have to get hot in order to melt down, right? So in this case, either the uh, solenoid got stuck or the starter got stuck back and then stay running the whole time while the engine was working. Let's find that first, let's see how is the starter look like. Okay, now let's take a closer look at it. Now as you can see the starter is stuck. This uh, gear over here is supposed to, when you switch the key, when you start the engine, this starter will pop up and then it start the engine. When, it's, when the engine is on, it will go back down. But in this case, it is up here as you can see right there. Let's see if you can push it down. Oh my gosh, it's hard. Well, in this case, it will not go down even I even put gloves on for me to help it to go down but it will not go down as you can see it's supposed to go down but it's not that means it totally stuck in there I got an old one laying around I may put it in here or I'm going to try to fix this one and let's see how we can fix it I'm hoping I'm just going to change a spring in here and then it will go Let's keep this and take care first over here and then we move on. Now look at that, the wire is showing up over there. Right there, hope you can see it right there. That's the wire over there and then on this side too. Alright, our quick fix, it is fixed with the electric tape. All right, now nothing's happening. That's good. Now, let's start with the starter. 
Okay, what I'm doing right now, I try to use this little thing to put it between right here, but it's not strong enough. So I'm going to ground down the uh, 11 millimeter down in order to fit in there. Right now, it's too thick, will not fit in there. All right, now hopefully it's perfect. Here you go. Now here she is. This is supposed to go up and then when you let it go, it's supposed to go down. But as you can see, will not go down. I have to help it and goes down. All right, in this case, uh, my old one, the one sitting around, it doesn't match this one. Just come out up there in just right now. This is the one, it's bad. This is supposed to be good, but I cannot use it. As you can see, that's the difference over there. So what I'm gonna do now, since uh, this one over here will not fit my uh, plier in there because it's way small in there. You cannot see it, it's right here. So I cannot take it apart right now as I did that one it's fixed but it's not fitting on this one so what I'm going to do I'm going to use the CRC electric cleaner and then I'm going to use the silicone spray to uh, stay it going that way it will go down and up again Now let's put this baby back on there. All right, now it's back on there. Let's start the engine. This is the next day. Did not start yesterday. So now I am going to the next step. So what am I experiencing right now? I've got 12 volt power right here. And that should come through over here. Right here to, uh, to the starter. But it seems like I got less than my bolt, so will not pull the starter to start the engine. So how that's happening? If I got 12 volt over here, going to this uh, red cable to the other side. So my first focus on this uh, clip, it is the uh, silly noise. Right here, as you can see, that bolt over here it's like kind of sad way it should be straight like this like the uh, other side like that is straight on the black over here but this one here as you can see kind of like it should be right here so like i was saying the uh, uh the lawnmower was uh smoke everywhere so you never know where it's all this smoke coming from so this was smoking at the time. I believe as you can see over here, it's gonna melt down right here. So now what I'm thinking is that um, this don't have in, it doesn't have full connection to the, uh, to the little bracket in here because uh, this is a, um, um, just a star goes up here and up here to here and then there is a plate inside here that goes up and down up and down and then uh, that means if this one was tilt over a little bit that means it don't have a full connection to that uh, plate that have connection with the uh, with the uh, with this one because they're supposed to be this always supposed to be open between this and the plate when it sucks it up it have connection it's like a bridge 
so uh, that's the problem right now it's uh it's not going in enough here because this is the in and out so i believe you can use both sides i think but uh i got it marked right here as you can see the eye over there this is the in like from the battery to the starter so uh, um this is bad so i'm going to change it okay i know you're going to appreciate this as you can see uh two bags over here this one over here is from tractor supply uh what do you call that t ts whatever thing is a uh, tsc right there and this is from uh lowe's that i couldn't find the exact one i went to truck the supplies i got this one and it's uh kind of too small it's not the same i mean i think the number is the same or the um, the voltage oh, i can focus on it but i know it's the same uh, so what I'm really trying to say is that um, this, I hope it works. And then um, these two solenoids over here, they are exactly the same, no difference. But the difference is a tractor supplies, you will pay um, right there before tax right there, it be a... Uh, $19.99 and plus tax in total over there and then the uh, lows you will pay $13 and plus tax so it total a $15.34 so uh, why pay that much money if this is $14 at lows and instead of going to uh, truck to supplies and just go to lows save some money if you like to but if this is the only option you got i mean go ahead get it from there but before that let's go ahead to see if it works okay guys i know you're still there you can't be watching this video if you're not there so okay this is how i'm going to use the uh, new one at the spot i mean this should be like this right this is the old one it's got only uh one uh thingy over there and then uh the new one it's got two the reason that is that um and then the old one i mean uh, the new one it comes with this one all right the reason this one comes with two it's because um uh, this you cannot hook it up though it don't have a direct ground not like this one over here for example if i show you over here as you can see this one over here this is the ground when you switch it on you will have ground and then the, it will have connection and then you can start except for this one over here this is the switch and then this is the ground to the body so right now it's got the connection right there but the new one you can see right here and then no the con connection to the body right there and same thing with this one over here that means both of these are ground so what are you going to do the new one you can see right here they are closed so what are you going to do is to to get ground to the body is to do this like that and then when you are bolted on the body either you go like this or you go on this side i believe you can use either side because it's a ground and then you can use your switch or the ignition wire over here like this one over here the ignition switch right it's like that one or you can put this one over here whatever it's convenient with you or it works for you so this is how i'm going to use my uh when i put it in there either i'm going to put this one on here either one it's easy to uh, install in there because it's the same thing so either i can use this one as one of those so
Oh, uh, that should do it. As you can see, that nuts over here. I don't know if you can see it, but over here in the bottom, right there. Do not over tighten that one. Just tighten it snugly down enough to have enough power. If not, you go and you tune it too hard, and it's gonna pop out inside that uh, housing over there. So that side over there and this side over here too. As you can see, how I did my over here. This over here, this is the ground to the body, and over here, this is the cable from the ignition switch. I think, not very sure, but it should be that one to turn this one on. So now it should be okay. It's let's go ahead and get it started. All right, guys, after changing the ceiling noise, now we got above. 12 volts over here as you can see let's uh try it out now see it yourself what is it right there let's do it again as you can see it start at 13 above Right there, and then 12, 12 point four, two, one. Of course, more you hold the thing, it will go down. So it is better now. So now we out of that doubt that now we got power right here. It's got about um, 12 volts, so that's good. Now you um, motor should start, but at this moment, it will go only one and a half round and then it stops it's still weak so i'm going to uh, open the uh, starter and look like inside hopefully we can fix it if not i'm gonna put a new one in there let's open the starter see what's inside Look at this boat, it's burnt. Oh my gosh, look at the inside. Hope you can see it. It is like ash everywhere. Let's see. And the inside here, hope you can see it. I don't know if you can see or not. It's hard to focus in the inside. Maybe right there, it is bad. OMG See the uh, knobs over here, what do you call it? Uh, I call it uh, not a start or something See, this is supposed to go in and out in and out and there's another one here, it's stuck totally stuck so I'm, I'm just going to play just a little bit in the with this one, I'm going to clean it up and until this one comes in and out. Okay guys, I think this is clean enough. I mean, uh, it's not perfect, but I don't think it's going to start or be useful in a way. So um, I'm not going to waste much time to clean it. This is thing is clean enough. I think everything is uh, flexible right now, goes in and out. 
so that's good like that oh this little thingy over here and then um it's clean enough right here the only um major problem i can see on this one over here because one of these um magnetic over here it come off it come loose because it got too hot and melt off from the uh, housing right now i got that one back in here with a uh, super glue because they all look like that it stick with some kind of uh, super glue or high um quality super glue over here but hopefully uh they're not supposed to be like having a ground connection with the uh, shell or housing Okay, let's try this again. It looks good right now. Hopefully it start. Finally, she's back in there again. Hopefully this is the last time. So I'm going to start and see how this one work. Will it go up and then come back by itself? But if it stay up here and running the whole time, then it's not good. It is going to start smoke again and all over again. Might as well change the whole thing, right? She's running again. Oh wow, guys, uh, you made it to the end. So what was the cause of the all the smoke thing coming out? It was the starter. The starter got stuck and then it got hot during the whole time it was running, it was running, so it will really, it met down the cables and it messed up the uh, solenoid and of course the whole starter as well. As you saw in the video, I had to uh, uh clean it and get it going again in luckily it's working fine now right well um thank you for watching this video i appreciate so much for sharing liking and subscribing to my channel that is a plus for me thank you until next video bye for now ciao ciao adios